Hi everybody, thank you again for joining another class, geography class, uh, CSEC made simple for CSEC CXC. Now today we'll be looking at the characteristics of tropical rainforest, we'll be looking at what makes these trees so unique, how is it that these trees are able to grow so tall and so fast and practically it's just amazing. Okay, so let us start off with the height of the tallest tree. Now, the height of the tallest tree is normally 60 feet, right? 60 feet is not an easy thing to get. Right now, I am 5 foot 6 and I would love to be even 6 feet, much less 60 feet. Wow, it's interesting, right? Okay, so as to hold the tree up into the air, ensuring that the tree don't topple over, the tree comes with what you call a buttress root. Now, a buttress root is like a bulky root at the, at the root structure right at the side right there. What it does, it acts as a brace to the tree. So whenever the tree is being um, shaken by the wind, even by storm, what will happen is that this buttress root will actually hold the tree into place and the tree will not snap. The tree is built in such a unique way that it can actually swing from side to side like rubber, right? Because of its structure, right? It will not snap because it is built to actually go very far up in the air. That's one characteristic. Another characteristic of a tropical rainforest tree is that the, 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 um, the, the bark itself, I shall say, the chunk of the tree is very smooth. And very thin. And the reason why it is very smooth and very thin is that it spends most of its energy I'm sending nutrients to the top of the tree where the canopy is so that they, the, 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 the canopy layer can go as fast as possible up towards the sunshine. Another thing to note is that there are little or no branches on the bark of the tree, right? The, this is because all the energy is being spent on, as again I said, ensuring that the canopy layer um, goes as quick as possible. However, uh, you have other, I call it now, um, trees, or should I say plants, that actually grows on a uh, rainforest tree. So as epithytes, lianas, parasitic plants, etc. Now, some of them actually um, get its own nutrients by exposing itself to the sunshine um, as it goes up into the, 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 the different layers of the, of the rainforest uh, vegetation. However, some of them actually uh, dig its way through the bark into the, the, um, the trunk of the tree, uh, taking food from the tree itself, right? So you have different types of plant. They don't have any, oh, what do you call it, trunk, trunk thing, there's like more like vine. You know, like when they have creeper, and creeper, you know, creeper, what you call it, pathos plant, uh, it actually grow on something and it grow in water and it does twinkle, just like pumpkin or melon, you know, it just grow on vine. So you have trees like that, right? Another thing that you should note is that um, tropical rainforest tree, their leaves are structured in such a way that it tries to get rid of water as quick as possible. Remember that rainfall practically every day. Rainfall every day in a tropical rainforest. So the tropical rainforest tree has leathery coated leaves. So as the water drops on the, the, the rainforest tree, the water quickly runs off. Another thing is that the leaves are cut in such a way that it doesn't hold water in it. The water um, escapes through what you call a drip tip. So you'll have drip tips and you have the sections at the side that is cut so that uh, the water actually exit. So as soon as the rain finish and sun comes up, the tree leaf is able to harness the, the sunshine, or uh, should I say the light, that engage uh, what you call it, the manufacturing of uh, energy or uh, food to what you call photosynthesis, right? So, so far, I've, I've explained to you three practical ways in which the tropical rainforest tree 
actually use so as to adapt itself to the environment. Before I leave, tropical rainforest tree, the humus layer is normally thick um, beneath the tropical rainforest tree, right? You have a lot of rainfall and normally because you have so many trees there and heavy rainfall, you tend to have the water table being overflow. Um, you know, water does um, saturate the entire soil. So what you have, you end up with springs flowing from these areas. And you normally have what you call watershed. So watershed normally originates within the tropical rainforest um, space. Now, answer these questions to test to see whether or not you understand today's topic. Thank you for stopping by. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye for now. Catch you next time.